No question, 4-H is a time of happy memories for many of our country's kids, but for one young lady, it was also a time of extraordinary growth. From one of the many extensions in the U.S., this one at Mississippi State University, here's a special story of just why extension matters. Peyton Bell is outstanding. She's dedicated, she's hardworking, and she just has the brightest personality. That's what the judges always comment about her. They was like, you know, I didn't, I didn't see you until you smiled. And she, once she smiled, she, she has your attention. Everybody at the show to love her and they cheer for her. And, and when she win, everybody uh, cheering. So we're very, very proud of her. I enjoy seeing these kids grow into this and getting at the front of that line. It takes initiative. You have to want it. And she's wanted it from day one. They ask me, what do I do? I tell them that I was showing goats. And most people think I roped them, but I tell them that I groomed them and walked them and positioned them. And I enjoy being their friends. I raise and show dairy goats, and whenever I met them, they were ready to raise and show dairy goats. Peyton's grandfather come to me and talked to me about getting his granddaughter into agriculture, and I told him that, let's do it. You know, it's nothing to it but to do it. And she's done really well with that. Once I bought the goat, her and her dad decided they wanted to show the goat. And I said, show the goat? That's, I, I don't know. She said, well, I, I'd like to show him, Granddaddy. I said, well, okay, we'll see about it. And of course, we went to the forest people and found that they do show goats. And then we always have to know all the parts to the goat, from the muzzle to the tail, every part. After getting with Miss Deidre, and Miss Deidre worked with her on showing and, and the procedure and methods of showing, my granddaughter, she's right. She's very sharp. She, she learns very, very well. And uh, we try to teach her the right way and try to teach her to do it the right way every time. Now you want to put this front leg straight down, make it straight down. Miss Deidre, she showed me how to clip them. She showed me how to wash them. She showed me how to maneuver them around us. That's right. Give me a high five. That's good. When I prepare the goats for the shows, I have to make sure that they stay fed. But it doesn't matter how big their stomachs are, it depends on the udder. So they have to have enough milk in their udder. That's how they mostly win. And then I also walk them around so they'll know how it feels to walk around the pen. And I also have to keep them brushed and washed. I always go upwards. And then once you go upwards, then brush. Up which brush, up which brush. From the very first show that she ever did, she placed second in showmanship in a matter of five minutes of her doing it, you know, from the very first time. And of course, a lot of that came from prepping with Deidre and her daughter Tori. And um, we had some of the extension personnel come down and do, you know, just, just teaching and, you know, helping them to learn in the process. And it, it, it all paid off. Parents can't do it for them. When they're out in that show ring, it's that kid, that goat, and that judge, and it's up to them. And they have to know all the parts, That's right. all the breeds. I mean, it's a lot of things that they have got to know to get that first place position. But whenever you're eight or nine years old and you get this first place for showmanship, showmanship is seeing how good you do. Not how Do you know how many total you have? No, I don't. It's a bunch. Yeah. I know I have three big ribbons and a plate in the middle. On my first show, I got second place in showmanship. So it felt good to see how when you put your best effort forward, then you'll bring something in return. From the very beginning, she kind of just grabbed onto it and ran with it. So from there, it's kind of where we are now. <laughs> We have Alpine, we have Taco Burger, we have St. we have a variety of them now. 
You know more about goats than you ever thought that you <laughs> More than I ever wanted to know. I, I know way more than I need to know about goats at this point. <laughs> They're at every single event, whether it's a clinic or it's a show, her family supports her 100%. They're cheering her on, they're holding her animals, they're helping her clean her animals, feed, water, whatever it is Peyton needs, they're there to support her for that. Everybody that you see here now, and it's usually my mom and dad as well, and then sometimes her uncle will come. It actually is, we have this many people everywhere we go. We really do. It is a family affair. We have, we're her little goat village. <laughs> It means a lot to me that they support me. Cause most of my family supports me no matter what, even if it was goats or anything. So that makes me feel good to know that they care. I wholeheartedly appreciate the 4-H, the extension program, the whole process because she's pretty much growing up before my eyes every day. So I live for it. I, I, I always want to see her smile. And then she's really, really, really independent and she learns and does things a lot on her own. What would you say the one characteristic maybe that has improved in you through this? I mean, there's a lot of things. Responsibility. I value the extension in the livestock program because our kids need direction. Our kids need values. I mean, you can't go wrong whenever you're teaching them work and responsibility and I mean that's that's what life is all about. The greatest aspect about the Livestock Project is we're not just creating kids that can go out there and show an animal in the ring, we're creating leaders, kids that can be successful and create a really bright future. It's just a very proud moment. She's going to go somewhere. She's going to be somebody. She already is somebody. Congrats to Peyton Bell.